You ever been asked if you can do something and you say yes a little bit too fast and later you end up regretting saying yes? But here's the truth. That panic, that voice whispering, you don't belong, it's not failure. That's the cost to enter this circus of a career. Welcome. With 25 years as a CTO, I'm used to this kind of mess. I was a few years into the job when I met it. A single Turbo Pascal class with a little bit too much power. What? You think we had Java in the early 90s? That wasn't just a class. It was a god object. Massive, moody, like my ex. But unlike my ex, it was responsible for almost everything that happened in the system. The thought of touching it gave me more anxiety than disarming a bomb with mittens. I opened it one afternoon and I started to feel the weight of someone else's choices. No comments, inconsistent naming, one method called do everything. I wish I was kidding. You ever stare at old code and think, was I drunk when I wrote this? Or just really, really optimistic? It's happened to me more times than I can count. You ever open a file and just close it right away? Yeah, either wish you didn't see what you just saw and you needed to emotionally prepare yourself. You're not broken. You're experienced. Everyone has scars. That feeling like you're faking it that's what learning at this level feels like. Let's give this beast a face. A god object is like the intern that started fetching coffee and somehow now they manage three departments and handle payroll and approve PTO requests. Nobody promoted them, they just stayed. This object touches everything and it knows way too much. It's like one of those quick characters in a gangster movie. Every time you look at this object, something important will just break. Like your little brother when they complain to your mom, you're just looking at them. Not sure if you got one? Open a file. If the scroll bar looks like a Tic Tac, you've got a problem. Refactoring became a personal battle. Every method that I split off is a victory. Every dependency I remove, it's a reason to, you know, have a cheer. But Trust issues with code, they don't go away, they change. And that next mutation, it comes wearing a lanyard labeled Singleton. Have you ever been in a code review where the main course was you? Why do you name this method process stuff? Because Mark, process my unraveling sanity didn't fit with naming conventions. Let's say you've got this. It's trying to do everything at once, like juggling chainsaws blindfolded. Let's break it up. Now, each method has one job. It's readable, testable, predictable, which is more than I can say for half the tech that I've inherited. But just when you've cleaned things up, just when it finally looks safe, some feature request hits your desk. Urgent, ambiguous, zero contacts. You know, one of those where they say, this should be easy. It's a five minute job. Dev life where done is a myth and clean is just a calm before another merge conflict. You ever finish a feature and immediately get asked to make it multi-tenant? Sure. Let me just rewrite the universe real quick. Did the idea of clean code come from a genius or just a bunch of tired developers who finally had enough with all this crap? The same thing as far as I'm concerned. It's funny. The better I get at writing clean code, the more new problems are showing up. Why? Because clean and safe, they aren't the same thing. Clean can still crash and burn. You think I ride my bike better after I take a shower? Feeling insecure at work? It's not weakness. That's your system telling you to stay sharp. Everyone's chased bugs that turned out to be a missing semicolon. Everyone's thought, Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. If they say otherwise, they're lying. Or worse, they work in marketing. Let's talk about the singleton. Sounds clean, feels elegant, but share it too much and your whole stack overheats like a PS5 in a sauna. Is it still a pattern if it causes more fires than it prevents? So what keeps you curious? 
For me, it's the lines of code that won't go down without a fight. The ones that need patience, that slow you down, that make you better because you had to level up just to survive them. You've made it this far. Most people rage quit around the singleton part. It's not you. Here's the deal. Imposter syndrome, it's normal. Code that judges you, inevitable. Thinking you're alone, you're not. You're still building, still pushing, still showing up even when the code doesn't love you back. And yeah, we've got a Discord server now. Links in the description. You're definitely not alone. Jump in, lurk, vent, ask the uh, stupid question that everyone else is pretending they already knew. Still watching? You either love pain or you left autoplay on. Either way, I respect it.